Our next talk is from Datin, Dr. Thema Abdul Majid. Dr. Thema is the president of the Malaysian Society of Clinical Hypnosis and the medical director at the LSCCH and LCCH Asia. He is a medical doctor, lecturer, and clinical hypnotherapist. She obtained her medical degree from University Sains, Malaysia. Thereafter, she worked in Penang General Hospital and University of Malaya Hospital, primarily, primarily in the Emergency Medicine Department and Psychiatry Department. Dr. Thema has extensive experience working as a clinical hypnotherapist. She specializes in managing depression, addiction, PTSD, anxiety, and stress, both from her years in medical practice and as a clinical hypnotherapist. She is also a lecturer for both beginners and advanced students hypnotherapy. She conducts workshops and support groups for both future therapists and corporate clients. She spearheaded the Psychological First Aid Task Force for frontliners during the COVID pandemic. This was a project which required a deep understanding of the mental health consequences of working during the pandemic. It provided training on self-care and resilience at both management and executive levels. Dr. Thema is also a consultant hypnotherapist at the LSCCH Therapy Center and has been providing therapy for both corporate and individual clients during the pandemic. This is the closing talk of the day, but after this, as the moderator mentioned, there will be a number of breakout rooms available that you can join. You will be able to engage further, ask, ask more questions, and perhaps even do a little networking. Those options will become available on your screen. But first, over to Dr. Thema for her talk titled, What is Next? Thank you very much, Tom. A very good afternoon and a good evening to everyone present. It's truly an honor and a great pleasure to be amongst all of you here today. We have come to the end of our amazing two-day conference, our third international virtual conference, Your Mind Matters, Revolutionizing Healthcare. Thank you all for being here with us, despite the difference in time zone. Perhaps the most challenging time zone was for our surgeon who joined in from USA at 2 a.m. and to our Australian colleagues who have stayed up late to be here. You have all made this not only a truly international event, but an amazingly inspiring conference. The Your Mind Matters conference was created to unite mental health care professionals who are working so hard in their own individual practices, offering such amazing work. Sometimes as physicians and mental health care workers, we work alone with our ideas and this platform creates an opportunity to share the work that we do with our colleagues and to say to each other that mental health matters. The theme of this conference is revolutionizing healthcare. We know as clinical hypnotherapists, the value of kind words and acts of compassion. It is a fundamental part of the way that we engage with our clients and patients. But when we unite and give voice to the way that we work, change happens. And it is my hope that, it is my hope that once we leave this conference with the renewed energy to continue the work that we do to battle against unhelpful administration and to continue to revolutionize healthcare to continue to push forward the boundaries of healthcare. I would like to thank the London School of Clinical Communications and Hypnosis and the London College of Clinical Hypnosis Asia for their efforts at bringing us all together. I would like to also thank our keynote speaker, Dr. Dr. Andrew Mohanraj for his motivation speech. One of the things that he spoke on was the importance of a rigorous curriculum and also the importance of training in safe and ethical practice. I cannot agree more. I'm very excited to see that so many presidents from professional societies have attended this conference. We have much to thank the great researchers of the 20th century for creating a role for clinical hypnotherapy. And we owe a debt to the practitioners of the last 40 years for sharing their stories and battling against the administration 
to make clinical hypnotherapy accessible for some patients at least. I know that this cannot be easy. It is time now for presidents from the individual societies to come together to strategize about how we can support our members from a society level or even a more global position to move forwards. This is not a job that just one president or one society can affect in isolation. There have been many residents and several policymakers at our conferences over the last few years. Perhaps it is time for us to share our thoughts and ideas and begin to create the platform for clinical hypnotherapy to become a more accessible treatment option for our clients and a career pathway for more of our members. After all, the re-aim framework published in 2014, as mentioned by Peter earlier, which looks at the readiness for disciplines or treatments to be accepted into public health says that hypnotherapy is ready shown to have a wide reach and wide efficacy amongst a wide range of populations. It is only the creation of implementation models which remain before clinical hypnotherapy is ready for widespread dissemination. These are the commitments and obligations of the professional societies to their members. And these Your Mind Matters conferences have created the opportunity for us to begin dialogue. Our first virtual conference was held during the pandemic when many countries were still in lockdown. The focus of the conference was on the therapist's experience of helping others during the COVID pandemic and insights gained from working therapeutically online. We also launched the Virtual Therapy Center in the UK, Malaysia, and Singapore. Our second virtual conference saw us exploring the various aspects of living and thriving in the new normal as we emerge from the pandemic. This weekend, our third virtual conference addressed the role of compassionate communication within healthcare. I would like to thank our 12 esteemed speakers for their motivating and revolutionizing presentations. I would also like to thank each of you for being here for your commitment of time and enthusiasm. Without you, there could not even be the beginnings of a revolution. And when 500 people on intent gather, we can without doubt make an impact on the lives of the people who matter and perhaps change the system just a little bit. Words have a powerful influence on the thoughts we create the emotions we experience, and the lives we lead. Using effective language in therapy does just help one release unhealthy emotions, recover, and refocus the mind towards healing and leading a better and positively charged life. It transforms lives. This has been superbly demonstrated by our distinguished speakers this weekend. We have had the privilege of partaking in the sharing of the experiences and witnessing for ourselves the power of compassionate communication in conjunction with clinical hypnosis. Our 12 speakers had come from the United Kingdom, Australia, Uruguay, and Asia. We have more than 500 participants from across the world as well. These last two days undoubtedly enabled us to explore and immerse ourselves in the depth of knowledge from the vast experience and sharing of the esteemed speakers. I would like to thank Kathy Brown for her sharing on how words can transform the experience for cancer patients. It was an extremely personal sharing and it came from your heart, Kathy, and has touched each of us listening to you. Dr. Rajita, it was a pleasure to have you speak to us again. Your insights and the way that you work with patients is an inspiration. Dr. Anand, Dr. Anapurni, and our pain specialist from Malaysia and abroad, your work is an inspiration. And as someone who has worked within the hospital and teaching settings of Malaysian hospitals, a big thank you to those of you who have succeeded in pushing forward the boundaries. Dr. Daniel Radeska, this is our first conference meeting you and welcoming your professional society. You work within, your work within palliative care is an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Joanna Oates, Bill Frost, John Paul, Adrian Lim, thank you all for the amazing, inspiring, and empowering sharings. Time does not permit me to thank each personally for your compassion towards patients and the work that you have shared with us today. But I know that every one of us at this conference appreciates your efforts 
sometimes alone and increasingly with colleagues. We look forward to working with you in the future. On the whole, in a span of two days, we saw how clinical communications and hypnotherapy have made significant contributions to the global revolution of compassion within healthcare. We collectively understood the value of mental health care, and we have firmly established our voice in a global context. I'd like to thank Mr. Peter Mabbott, the president of BSCH, Ms. Sheila Menon, the principal of LSCCH LCCH Asia Group, our host, Mr. Tom Connelly, Secretary of the BSCH, and our moderator, Mr. Steve Winston, Operations Manager of LSCCH LCCH Asia Group. I would also like to thank the very amazing team whom you may have glimpsed working away behind the scenes. Julian Pereira, for your tireless expertise in all things IT. Dr. Asha, for your gentle hand in managing our speakers. Adam Ling, Riska and Elaine for your support, and all of you who have made this conference the amazing success that it has been. My sincere appreciation to the British Society of Clinical Hypnosis, the MIND MNP, the Australian Hypnotherapist Association, the Guild of Australian Hypnotherapists, Asia Pacific Society of Clinical Communication and Hypnosis, the Malaysian Society of Clinical Hypnosis, the Portuguese Society of Clinical Hypnosis, the Uruguay Center of Hypnosis, Clinical Hypnosis Association, and the Australian Society of Clinical Hypnosis for all the support and assistance rendered to the success of this conference. As this conference comes to an end, it's time to ask those important questions about what's next. The advantages of international sharing are immense. Not only do we get better acquainted with each other, strengthen our networking, strategize our modes of treatment and therapies and explore knowledge and discoveries. We also get the opportunity to discover that although we come from various disciplines and backgrounds, our common commitment and goal is for the betterment of our clients and our profession. Our next conference will be focused on mental health in the workplace. I'm sure that a little compassion will go a very long way there too. We will be exploring the role of mental health care in the workplace and mental health challenges faced by employees who have to sometimes juggle competing demands of home, children, and work. It will be held on the 26th and 27th of November, 2022. A gentle reminder to mark it in your calendars. We look forward to exploring and sharing new knowledge and experiences in the, world, in the field of mental health care and hypnotherapy. And we very much look forward in welcoming our colleagues from different regions to join us once more. Armed with a great platform and a unified voice, let's create positive changes and revolutionize healthcare together. Thank you all for being with us this amazing weekend and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you very much. Good afternoon and good night.